So in this video, we're going to go through a full example where we have to test at the 5% level whether there is any association between age group and favourite subject. So we've got favourite subject, English or Maths, age group under 8, 8 to 12 and over 12. And these are the observed values. Okay, so let's put observed there. Now, what we want to do, good practice, uh, is to find the total column and the total row. So let's add that to my table. So total. Okay. So we've got 20 and 25, so 45. 10 and 15 is 25. 18 and 12 is 30. So 45 and 25 is going to be 70. Plus 30 is 100. 20 plus 10 plus 18 is 48. 25 plus 15 is 40, plus the 12 is 52, and the 48 plus 52 is 100. Excellent. Okay, so that's all good. Right, so this is the observed table. What we're going to need is the um, expected table next. So, expected. So, I'm just going to abbreviate some of these. We've got English and Maths. And we've got the uh, less than 8, 8, 12, and uh, greater than 12. Okay. Right, now I'm also going to have the total column, total row on this one as well. Okay, good check to make sure that I'm getting this okay. I'm not making any silly errors along the way. Right, so how do we work out the values in this table? So what we do is we're assuming that uh, these two events are independent. And so what we do to work out the corresponding English for under 8s, it is going to be the row total times the column total divided by 100. So we get 45 times 48 divided by 100, and that's 21.6. Okay, now for this one, it'll be 45 times 52 divided by 100. So that's 23.4. Okay, quick little check, 21, add those two together, we get 45, and that matches up with that one, so we're all good so far. Right, this one will be 25 times 48 divided by 100. 25 times 48 divided by 100 is 12. And for this one, 25 times 52 divided by 100 is 13. They add up to 25, which is what I've got there, so all good. Right, this one is 30 times 48 divided by 100, so that's 14.4. And the next one is 30 times 52 divided by 100, so that gets us 15.6. Add those two together, we get 30 which matches up with that one, so that's all good there. 21.6 plus 12 plus 14.4 is 48, which matches up with that one. 23.4 plus 13 plus 15.6 is 52, which matches up with that one. Excellent. Okay, so that's my check that the expected table is the same. Right. So next up is the contributions table. So we've got English and Maths, and we want less than 8, 8 to 12, and greater than 12. Okay, so now the values here, you, the formula is given to you in the formula booklet. So you want to go to page 11, about mid-page you find the chi-squared test and you have the sum of F0, or sorry, FO, take away FE, all squared divided by FE. So this is the observed frequency, take away the expected frequency, all squared, divided by the expected frequency. So these are the contributions. So for this one here, what I'm going to do is the observed frequency, which is 20, take away the expected frequency, 21.6, 
I square that and divide that by 21.6. That value is going to go in that bit there. So 20 take away 21.6 squared divided by 21.6 and we get 16 over 135. Uh, so I'm going to write that as a decimal. So I haven't left myself a great deal of room here. So let me just redraw this a little bit, give myself a little bit more space. So we're getting 0 0.1185. I'm going to go five decimal places, I think. So 0 0.11852. OK, so that was five decimal places was completely arbitrarily chosen. OK, just so you're clear. Um, it's just to make sure that the final value that I get is correct uh, to three sig fig. OK, so we're going to go with this one next. So we get the observed value, which is 10. Take away the expected value, 12. Square that, divided by 12. Uh, and that's going to be equal to 1 third. So 0.33333. Right, let's go with this one next. So we've got um, the observed value, which is 18. Take away 14.4. All squared divided by 14.4, we get 9 tenths, so 0 0.9. Right, go for this one next. So 25, take away 23.4 squared divided by 23.4, and we get 0 0.10940 to five decimal places. Right, this one next. So 15, take away 13, all squared, divided by 13. So 4 over 13, so 0 0.30769. And then the last one, uh, we've got 12, take away 15.6, all squared, divided by 15.6. That's 54 over 65. 0 0.83077 to five decimal places. Okay, so the chi squared statistic is the sum of all of those, so sum of all those in the table. So 0 0.11852 plus 0 0.10940 plus 0 0.33333 plus 0 0.30769, plus 0 0.9, plus 0 0.83077, and we get 2.59971. So I'm just going to write that as 997 to four decimal places. So I was going to go to three sig fig, wasn't I? So Let's just write that as 2.60 to 3 sig fig. I'll write that out as I've got it. Let's just write like that one. Okay, so 2.60 to 3 sig fig. Okay. So we've got our chi-squared statistic. So now we've got to actually do the test. So the null hypothesis is there is no association between age group and favourite subject. Just about fit it in. <laughs> right, there we are. H1, there is an association between age group and favourite subject. OK. So, for uh, new equals, so we've got to work out the number of degrees of freedom. So that's the number of rows, take away one, times by the number of columns take away one. So two take away one. So we get two times one, so two. The 
5% because that's coming from the question uh, the 5% critical value is okay so we're on to page 13 um, and just before I kind of continue from here uh, just so you know the um, sometimes you see it written as the chi-square distribution that we're working with so chi-squared and the degrees of freedom goes down here and we can write that as 2 down there and that means uh, degrees of freedom equaling 2 okay so you can use that notation as well so critical value so we're looking at 5% uh, new is 2 so it's 5.991 so 5.991 now, our chi-squared statistic is 2.60, which is to the left. So, 2.60 is less than 5.991. So, result is not significant. So, we fail to reject H0. There is insufficient evidence to suggest there is an association between age group and favourite subject. And there you are, okay? So that is the full chi-squared contingency table test. We start off with the observed um, table that was given to us. Uh, we work out the totals, which allows us to then work out the expected values, okay, the expected frequencies. Then from using those, we can work out the contributions table, add them all together, gets us the chi-squared statistic, and then we complete the hypothesis test comparing the chi-squared statistic against the critical value which is read from the tables.